the first two years were very, uh, very horrible, actually. Very horrible. Yeah. In Minjian prison, where I was transferred in 1999, April, I was beaten, actually. I was beaten mm. by a group of criminals mm. under, the, under the direct supervision of the prison officers, actually. I was beaten like a dog. I was dragged to an um, open fee, uh, beaten up, actually. Beaten up, beaten up. So I, f I came into contact with the first serious doka. Mm. Uh, doka, doka, doka. And then, oh, I am just 20. I am going to serve 21 years. Mm. <gasps> How can I survive? Mm. So suicidal thoughts came to me. It is not because I was fed up with everything. I just thought I should not suffer, you know, for all these coming years like this. Mm. At least mentally I can get out if I commit suicide. Right. So, but I was not that bull enough uh, to commit such an act. I never thought it was also a right decision at you early. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was, I was starving at you early. I was starving uh, in those days, so much so that I felt like biting my own thigh at you early. Mm -hmm. Oh, my thigh is here at you early, mm -hmm. you know? Why do I keep it at you early, mm -hmm. you know? Just the human instinct sure. of craving of something at you early, yeah. you know? When you, when you were deprived of everything at you early, mm. you know? And then, uh, that was a very big, powerful experience. And then, I started undergoing the process of soul searching at you early. Mm. Soul searching. Soul searching after yeah. one year. Nobody is beating you, Suiwen. Why are you, you know, wriggling, uh, you know, wriggling, you know, all alone? Mm. Now, you are just confined to a cells. But why are you suffering? You know, you just keep quiet at you early. I was reminding myself at you early. And then, yes, what is happening? Now, I have proper food. My family came to give me some food. Now I have food now. Yes, a few weeks ago, I was stabbing. Now I have a few, uh, uh, you know, some food now. I can survive now, at least for a week. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was not going to starve at you early. So why do you keep grumbling at you early, you know, crying at you early? And I realized, not because I was being beaten, not because uh, I was uh, I was not having enough food, but because I was cut off access to the usual stimuli I was so familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, before I got thrown into jail, I was very much attached to my radio, actually. Mm -hmm. Radio uh, to all these, you know, mm -hmm. Literature books at you early. Yeah. I was so much attached at you early. Mm. So so much attached. So these are only two types of stimuli mm. I was uh, uh, I was dependent upon at you right. There was no internet back at that time. Yeah. So all these stimuli, you know, mm. I lost. Mm. I lost at you mm. early. Mm. You are. I started telling myself, you are you are suffering, not because you are being beaten that, mm. not because. You are not having good food, but because you were cut of your usual stimuli. Mm -hmm. So I was shocked. Then, what is the type of freedom I want? Mm. The freedom I want is just outside at you early. So that is not the real freedom. That is not freedom. Because something outside, something external can be taken from you at any point mm. for, for any reason mm -hmm. at you early, mm -hmm. at any point of your life. That dependence, that type of dependence, that type of attachment is so fragile at you. Mm, you know? mm. And I realized, okay, now I realize I was looking for not just for the democracy, not just for the liberty, I have to find for the type of freedom by which I mean you will no longer depend anything outside, outside of your mind and body, your body and mind. So this is the first thought which came to me after a year or so.